हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे माय सेल्फ सुनील सोनीग्रा गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट आफ्टर डेवलपमेंट द इंटरसेक्शन एंड इंटरपेनिट्रेशन ऑफ सॉलिड्स व्हेन टू सॉलिड्स इंटरसेक्ट्स विद ईच अदर देन सम लाइन ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन और कर्व ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन वुड बी देयर द सॉलिड्स विच वी विल कवर टूडे in our discussion is prism pyramid cylinder and cone now what is intersection of solids what do you mean by intersection as here one figure is drawn which shows the intersection of two cylinders one is vertical cylinder that is red colored and another is horizontal cylinder that is yellow in color here you can say one cylinder is cutting the another cylinder it passes through some other solid one solid passes through some other solid so here some curve of intersection would be there like this this is the curve of intersection when two solids meet each other we can this is intersection of solid intersection is the point or line where two geometric forms such as lines or surfaces meet or cross each other that is intersection now what is interpenetration interpenetration means one solid penetrates inside the another solid here you can say vertical cylinder is penetrated by a horizontal cylinder so this yellow colored cylinder is penetrating cylinder and red colored cylinder is penetrated cylinder so the vertical cylinder is cut horizontal cylinder remains throughout solid here we will discuss some more problems about various solids this is one view of cut cylinder the first one is green colored combined two cylinders both are having similar diameter hence if you look from front side it will appear just as a cross another second one is green colored that is removed portion or common portion between these two solids this one this green one then yellow one this solid this is cylinder this is vertical cylinder and here circular hole is there and this is the horizontal cylinder so these two are the disassembly of the first solid first assembly this is another example of interpenetration you can say this is vertical vertical prism here eight sides are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so it is an octagonal prism and here cylinder is there this is inclined cylinder it is having diameter and both these solids penetrates over here so this curve is curve of intersection and there are few methods how to draw the curve of intersection here we will use a sim single method and very much easy method how to draw this intersectional curves here this is a cylinder so cylinder is having curvature shape so one curvature shape is there so the intersection would be curvature if instead of cylinder this is prism this would be prism then both the prisms are there so the intersectional line would be straight line if this is cylinder the vertical one is cylinder this is either cylinder or prism in that case also the curve of inter the intersectional line would be curve now we discuss the first problem that is intersection of two solids that is cylinder cylinder the given data is like this a cylinder 50 mm diameter and 70 mm axis is completely penetrated by another cylinder of 40 mm diameter and 70 mm axis horizontally both axis bisect each other 
draw projections showing curves of intersection now in this case two cylinders are given to us one cylinder is vertical cylinder another cylinder is horizontal cylinder and dimension of first both the cylinders are given to us so first we think the first cylinder this is the photograph of given condition this is vertical cylinder another is horizontal cylinder here you can say a cylinder 50 mm diameter 70 mm height is completely penetrated so this cylinder having diameter 50 mm and 70 mm height is this one so first we think about this cylinder only so how to draw this cylinder we know first we should we have to draw x y line that represents intersection of hp and vp then draw a circle which shows the top view of the cylinder this vertical cylinder and draw points and its axis and draw its front view of course in front view it would appear as a rectangle so we have drawn first cylinder and first half line of given problem a cylinder 50 mm diameter 70 mm height axis is completely penetrated so we have drawn this cylinder now it is given this cylinder is completely penetrated by another cylinder of given dimension so how to draw that cylinder so for that what should we do we draw a line auxiliary line take projections from top view translate it to the side view horizontal lines from here vertical line from here and horizontal line from here so this is the side view of given cylinder so we have drawn three views of this vertical cylinder now it is penetrated by another cylinder of diameter 40 mm and both axes bisect each other but to bisect means to divide into two equal parts so here to find out the point of intersection or axis of this uh, horizontal cylinder we find out midpoint of this axis so locate here midpoint of this axis which will be at a height of 35 mm from the base so it would be somewhere here and from here draw a circle of diameter 40 mm because the diameter of penetrating cylinder this red colored cylinder is penetrating cylinder and this vertical is penetrated cylinder diameter is 40 mm which is given to us so we have to draw this circle right now after drawing this circle what should we do name this points divide this circles into equal number of parts i have divided here into eight equal parts you can take any number of division it could be divided into 12 parts or 16 parts but it should be divided into equal number of parts now after dividing this into equal number of parts let me draw its top view its front view how to draw its front view just take projections from point a double dash and e double dash draw horizontal lines from these two points and then here total length is 70 mm so from this axis 35 mm on this side and 35 mm on this side draw two vertical lines so this is front view of penny trating cylinder this red colored cylinder front view is this one now to draw top view of this cylinder similar analogy which we employed earlier employed over here draw vertical line from side view draw horizontal line means taking projection and take projection from top view as well so width will remain same in both the views in front view as well as in top view so this total length is 70 mm so now we have drawn top view front view and side view of these assembly now our target is to draw this curve this curve of intersection how to find out position of the points which are there on the intersection curve over here so for that 
what should we do so take projections from this equal divisions vertical line from here horizontal line from here now this point say this is point g dash let we take g double dash point vertical line from point g double dash is over here horizontal line is here so it cuts this vertical cylinder at this point one point is here another point is here similarly vertical line from point h dash h double dash and f double dash this line that will cut this vertical cylinder at two points one point is here another point is here then point a double dash and e double dash two points would be here vertical line from here horizontal line from here so this point and this point would be the points of intersection similarly for b double dash c double dash d double dash these points are here one point is here one point is here now after identifying these points these points are very important to draw intersection of solids so you should take care about identifying the intersectional points these are the points of intersection between two solids now after locating these points of intersection of these two solids draw vertical line from all these points these intersectional points and horizontal line from respective points like this an intersection of these lines will give one point locate these points it would appear like this similarly name them ac accordingly suppose from a double dash point a dash would be there here vertical line from point a it cuts circle over here from here draw vertical line this is a dash for point b dash here b double dash is there so from b double dash draw vertical line draw horizontal line this line will cut the circle over here from this point draw vertical line and horizontal line from point b double dash this would give us b dash point similarly locate the position of point c dash d dash e dash f dash g dash and h dash after locating all these points as both the solids are curvature in nature join all these points with a smooth curve and similar points would appear on this side as well with the similar analogy locate all these points draw horizontal lines from all these points project them to top view and from top view translate these points over here so this is the curve of intersectional points now join all these points with a smooth curve 1 and 2 so this curve is over here we have drawn this curve points of intersectional curve like this so this is the problem which we have solved one vertical cylinder another horizontal cylinder both intersects each other both bisects axis of each other and in front view the point of curvature would be like this cylinder cylinder case now second problem that we discuss about cylinder and square prism this is the data for cylinder and square prism type problem the data is like this a cylinder 50 mm diameter 70 mm axis is completely penetrated by a square prism of 25 mm sides and 70 mm axis horizontally both axis bisect each other here again both the axis bisects each other as we know to bisect means to divide into two equal parts so axis of both the cylinder are at right angle and both meet at midpoint of the axis here it is given both axis bisect each other all faces of prism are equally inclined to hp draw the projections it would appear like this this is isometric view of given condition how to draw this first draw front view and top view for that draw xy line which represents intersection of hp and y vp and first draw front view and top view of cylinder top view of cylinder would appear as a circle as we have drawn over here and draw its axis name them end points and draw its front view in front view the cylinder would appear as a rectangle as shown over here so we have drawn first solid that is cylinder 50 mm diameter and 70 mm axis now we are going to discuss some more details about this solid 
name these points, divide this circle into equal number of parts, take projections from here to draw side view, draw horizontal lines from here, translate them like this and this is the side view of given cylinder. cylinder. In cylinder also front view and side view will appear alike that would be rectangular. So, here the dimension of this rectangle would be similar to dimension in front view. After drawing this side view draw axis as well name the points respectively here. Now, both another square prism is given 25 mm side and 70 mm axis it bisects horizontally. So, this is horizontal cylinder horizontal prism. So, whenever we draw horizontal prism or any horizontal solid we should start from its side view we cannot directly draw front view. So, for easiness and easiness in understanding as well as easiness in drawing it is preferable to draw side view first. So, we draw side view of given prism and here it is given that the faces of prism are equally inclined to H p. So, it would appear like this the angle between H p and this face is is 45 degree for all faces the angle is 45 degree. So, it should be drawn like this. So, how to draw this solid? So, for that many num many methods are there one method is just put your drafter over here draw vertical line and draw horizontal line at a distance of 35 mm because 75 70 mm is the axis. So, this height would be 75 70 uh, by 2 35 mm from here draw horizontal line right after drawing this horizontal line put your drafter over here set it at an angle of 45 degree move it over here and when it cuts or this length becomes 25 mm put it there put it there and draw this line that is one method you can use any method to draw, to draw this square after drawing this square name the end points say a double days b double days c double days and d double days so, this is side view of penetrating prism. Now, to draw its top view and front view for drawing front view take projections like this horizontal lines 